This screencast will show how to add an existing project to Git and to push it to GitHub. We're starting with a simple Java project which has been created using IntelliJ IDEA and is not currently checked into any source control system. The simplest way to add version control is by going to the VCS menu and selecting Enable Version Control Integration. IntelliJ IDEA has out-of-the-box support for CVS, Git, Mercurial and Subversion. Selecting one of these, in our case Git, enables VCS support for the project so we can start checking versions in and out. You can see support has been added, as the version control window is now available for this project. You can also use Alt and 9 or Command and 9 to bring up the VCS window. When a project has just been added to Git, all of the existing files will be unversioned because they haven't been added yet. Unversioned files are shown in red by default. Now you can select which files you want to add to Git. Here we want to leave out any of the IntelliJ IDEA configuration files, but whether you want to check them in or not is entirely up to you. In this case, because all the files we want to leave out are in the same directory, we can group the files in this window by directory and select everything that isn't in the .idea directory. To add the remaining files to Git, you can drag the files into the default change list or right-click and select Add from the Git menu item. Now we've added all the files we want to Git, we need to commit them to save their current state. We can right-click on the change list or on the files and select Commit. Or we can use the Control k or Command k keyboard shortcut. This brings up the Commit dialog. We can manage this specific commit from here. We can enter a message for the commit. We can see the files that will be committed, and we can even see the unversioned files that will not be committed, so we have a final chance to add these to Git if we want to. We can see a quick summary of the number of new, unversioned or modified files. The bottom of the dialog gives us a diff between the file we're checking in and the original. In this case, because these are all new files, the whole file is shown in green and there's no original to compare it to. There are a number of operations you can select to perform before the files are committed. We won't cover these in this screencast, so we'll deselect them all to get the simplest commit possible. Once the changes are committed, we get a pop-up message showing us that the commit was successful. Our unversioned files are still shown in the window, but since we've decided not to commit these files at all, we'll create a gitignore file to tell both Git and IntelliJ IDEA to ignore them. Now Git integration is enabled, whenever a new file is created in this project, IntelliJ IDEA will ask if this file should be added to Git, so we don't have to manually add every new file every time. When we add the .idea directory to the gitignore file, the IntelliJ IDEA VCS window will no longer show files from this directory. Let's commit this file too since it's part of our project. The beauty of a distributed version control system is not only for saving different versions of our project files, but also for sharing the project and allowing others to work on it. Because we're using Git in this example, let's add this project to GitHub. From the VCS menu, we can see the Import into Version Control menu item has an option to share the project on GitHub. We can use a token or our username and password to access GitHub. If we have two-factor authentication enabled, we'll be prompted for our authentication code as well. Now we choose a name for the GitHub repository and can optionally name the remote. In this case, we've kept the default origin name. IntelliJ IDEA will create the repository on GitHub in our account and push the project code. If this is successful, a balloon notification will let you navigate to the project in the browser. That's how to add an existing project to Git and push it to GitHub. Thanks for watching.